Hey guys, welcome to the RC shop behind the scenes here in the Creepy Crawler Garage. I know I've been gone a while and it's good to be back. It's good to be making a video for you guys. Um, and with the fact that I've been gone for a while, well, while I was gone, the boss went and hired a new employee. Um, I don't know about much about this guy. I know he's kind of tall. Uh, the boss tells me the stains on his uniform are spaghetti sauce. I don't know. I just know he moans a lot and talks a lot about brains. I don't know what, what the deal is with this guy. But as long as he gets the work done, I'm good. I think his name's Freddy. I'm not for sure. But like I said, as long as he gets the work done and helps out around the shop, I'm good with him being here. With that said, guys, it's good to be back. I got a lot of the projects go underway for this weekend's episode. Uh, getting back at it, getting back to it for you guys. Um, starting with the proving grounds outside. I have actually started working on that again. I want to make sure and get that done actually probably this week. Um, I've, it's been really a pain if I had to do this over again. So here's some advice, guys. If you, if you want to make a fake mountain rock, uh, don't do it out of concrete like I have. Uh, just go ahead and use your, your wire to, to give your frame and then, and then fiberglass it and paint it. This concrete has been the biggest mess and, and, and not to mention, there's gonna be three bags of concrete on this thing. So at the end of the day, that's three times, that's, what is that? That's 240 pounds almost, 200 pounds probably. The, the, the thing's hard to move. Um, if you did it out of fiberglass, a lot lighter. I think that's the way I, I'll probably do it next time. Um, but I got a few ideas I'm trying to put together. I wanna get that somewhat finished up this week. Um, but more importantly, back here in the shop, I'd like to get back to work on the Highway 1 project. Uh, the main thing we're going to be doing is working on the interior. I think that's the next big project is, is, is getting this interior done. That's the next major project. Everything else after that is just kind of button up little things like putting on a winch, putting in some lights, kind of easy, fun stuff. But once so I want to get to go ahead and get the interior knocked out probably the, uh, most of it this week. So I can have that for you this, this, uh, this Sunday, guys. Um, and then also, like I said, I don't know if we can see back behind there. In fact, let me move Freddie out of the way. Uh, he, go take a break, Freddie. There you go. In the back, we got the uh, we got the shop truck we need to get back to work on. Um, so I'm gonna be working on that also. Um, again, getting that back rolling. Um, but anyways, I wanted to just uh, say, hey guys, thanks for for hanging in there with me. I know I had to go work for a couple weeks. Uh, really wasn't able to get to the computer to to make videos. Wasn't able to get to my my house to make videos. Uh, really been out of town. It's good to be back. It's good to be at, back at this. Uh, I'm working hard this week to get the next RC shop video out on Sunday. So I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm actually kind of even rejuvenated a little bit, kind of excited to work on this stuff. Um, and I will definitely keep you updated uh, when new things happen or come about or once the, uh, uh, once the proving grounds are done, I'll do an update video on that so you can see that. In fact, it's probably going to be a new permanent segment within the RC shop videos. Uh, we'll, we'll do some proving ground runs. So if we, while we work on these trucks, the, the changes we make, did they make a change as far as performance, right? It's one thing for appearance, but do these trucks actually perform better? Um, and that's kind of how I'm uh, working on the proving grounds or my, my, my final design of the proving grounds is, is, is to be what, what it's called, a, a proving ground. In other words, it's gonna prove, do we have more articulation? Uh, what kind of angles can we climb? What kind of side angles can we, can we traverse? Um, these kind of things and then so when we make changes to trucks and we run through those same courses again we, we can see the ch the difference uh, in real time like the, before we couldn't make it a, a across a certain part but with the with the upgrades and the the changes that we make with a truck then we can and then so we've proved that these fixes actually work uh, it's one thing to, to, to show something in theory it's another thing to actually prove it so anyway guys I didn't want to take up a bunch of your time and I didn't want to uh, ramble on too long here um, but I just want to let you know that I am back. I appreciate you sticking around with me, um, you know, through a couple weeks of uh, me being out of town and not being able to do these videos. And I'm looking forward to this video coming out this week. It should be a good one. And uh, I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you're not subscribed, if this, if this happens to be the first video you've seen, this is not the normal thing. I usually do a fully produced uh, kind of, kind of episode. Uh, but uh, so if you want to keep up with that, hit the subscribe button. Um, YouTube's kind of pushing for that notification thing too. So if you want to hit that notification button, please do that. Make sure you get uh, notified when new videos come out or when the next episode come out. 
And again, I just thank you guys for joining me uh, and I'll see you next week or see you Sunday later on.